Hey guys, Anthony with 180 Degree Ministries. Just wanted to come at you with another verse uh, that I was reading today. It was John 13, 34. And this is when Jesus was with his disciples and it was uh, getting ready for his betrayal. And uh, right before he told Peter uh, that he would deny him three times before the rooster crows. But John 13, 34 says, It's the new command that I give you to love one another just as I have loved you. So you must love one another. And it says, Jesus says, By this all men will know that you are my dis disciples by how you love one another. And there's just so much tied into all that. It's amazing because the first part of it says... Uh, to love men and to love one another just as I have loved you. So you got to think, how did Jesus love us while he laid his life on the line for us? And uh, ultimately, that's that's the number one love. The number one love is giving your life for, for others to, um, just as Christ to give his life for us. And... Um, it can get it can be tied up in so so many different ways too. Uh, just as he has loved us, well, he showed us who we are. Um, so if that means just like going to the streets or uh, going to people in your household or people at your schools or whoever it is, and just showing them who they are, showing them their value, showing them who they are through Christ. Just like Christ showed us who we are through Him and to to the Father showed us. Um, so there's just so much tied up into that little scripture. It's just so amazing. And God just put it on my heart. And uh, I just wanted to share it with you guys. And it's just uh, that that new command that he gave us right before uh, he was being betrayed. And, you know, he made it highlighted. And like that's the number one. You look at it and uh, he highlighted that. So that's why we got to take into heart what love really is because the Bible teaches that God is love and giving your life for another person and showing a person who they really are through Christ to ultimately that is what love is and uh, the second part of that where, it's ex where Jesus explains all men will know you uh, by your f all men will know that you are my disciples by your love and that just ties in again with the uh, the verse that you will know them by your by their fruits. This is Matthew seven, uh, fifteen through twenty, where Jesus is saying, "Beware of the false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inside they're ravenous wolves. You will know them by the fruit that they produce. By no men who, who no by no good tree can produce bad fruit." So you can also tie that in too. There's just so much tied in. It's just so amazing. God's word is so perfect. Um, and that's why each scripture can be taken into a thousand different words and be looked at. It's not just a sentence. It's an entire story written in that scripture. And it's just hallelujah. Thank you so much to Jesus. I, I, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm going to be pumping out uh, more scriptures. This is just something that I really like to do that God has put on my heart. Um, I'm just going to share them with you as, as much as I can and get the word out of how valuable and how important you guys really are. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you guys so much for viewing this. 